me put that into perspective. Okay? <laughs> I had a coworker about Oh my God! Is this some? Is this? Is this some Andrew Tate guy? kind of shit? Boldness. So about three years there is the poor the girl is the better she will be as a wife. Man, that came out wrong. Let's dissect this answer here. A question was asked in a live chat. Okay. Where are the top three places to meet a long-term Filipino wife or girlfriend? As with any question with Scotty Boy, it's, it's not going to be an easy answer. I mean, people hate to hear the poorer the better. But, but on this channel, we care about the real world. How does the real world Wow, work? that's some Sigma male shit, know, man. Let me give an example. When a girl has nothing, she's willing to do whatever it takes to have okay. something. When a girl has something, her standards increase. She's no, she's no longer willing to do anything, you know, to make her life better. I remember arriving in Korea and girls, they loved me. I mean, today I'm a piece of crap. This was, this was 20 years ago. Okay. Now imagine a guy living a wor in a world this is typical, where girls... <laughs> this, is typical Philipp this is typical Philippines, by the way. This is typical Philippines. If you go to the... If you go outside of the cities, this is typ typical Philippines, by the way. You think the Philippines is just a bunch of um, beaches with the, with beautiful forests and coral reefs and wonderful um, waterfalls? Nah, man. This is Philippines, dude. Poverty-stricken, corrupt governments, um, AIDS and diseases spreading everywhere, S low social economic um, and communities, yeah. And un un uneducated people, high crime rates. Yeah, welcome to the Philippines. There's a reason why the Philippines is called the shithole of the world, of, of the East. They, they get within 10 feet of him and they throw up, okay? In the alternate world, the girls, they bow down to him. Which reality would you... I swear to God, is this some Sigma so male it's video? it's the exact same psychology worldwide in every country. It's human I swear nature. to God, I'm going to get like lots of Philippi pissed off Filipinos in my chat like again. One of these Dumaguete guys, okay? Now, Dumaguete? if this girl had been born in the West... She wouldn't touch the guy with a 10-foot stick. Okay, so the question this guy had in live chat is, where are the top three places to meet a good long-term relationship? I can't tailor this answer to the guy who asked the question because I don't know much about you. I mean, if you're into tennis, then join three tennis clubs in Manila. That would be the answer to the question. Okay, but fair. Let's tailor the question in a different direction. I'll just make it a general assessment based on my own point of view. Let's assume you want a girl who is a little on the younger side, okay? Hey, I mean, you may be 60 and you want a 60-year-old babe. Well, good for you. But in the fills, it's not the usual thing when it comes to foreigners and Filipinas. So let's stick to the obvious age gap that a lot of guys are into. Now, first thing you got to do is find the babe. Now, you want her to be a bit younger. You want her to look good. You want her to basically take care of you. I mean, unless you're the kind of guy who enjoys doing laundry. When I was on a dating site, I put in my profile... That if she has aspirations to become a professional, so what are you? Know, wait, 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 wait. I'm probably not the guy for you because the thing are you is, looking for a works, housemaid? It's going to be like an all day, six days a week. What? She's not going to make much dough. So I mean, what does that leave me? I mean, what's in it for me? You know, my dad got remarried, and uh, he says he just likes the woman's touch in the house. The woman what? just takes care of things and keeps them orderly. Something my dad would never care enough to make the effort to do. So he found a good woman. So I live by myself and I have, you know, I have one mug, one bowl, and things are just kind of all over the place. It's just how I roll if I'm alone. I keep things simple. I, I just don't want to make, I would like to have a nice orderly house, but I'm just not willing to do the work to make that happen. I'm just then not get, get cleaning services. What I the hell? The woman, she would make sure things are kind of, you know, orderly like how they were when i was that's kind of stupid though i mean uh, that's kind of stupid because if you think about it if you want to go to the philippines and get a wife who get a get a get, basically get a third world wife who's gonna do and take care of you then sure whatever man but if your main concern is cleaning the house it's just get a cleaning service that visits you every saturday or every wednesday you know what i mean or if that's the case get a fucking roomba or if that's not the case get a cleaning lady or a housemaid it doesn't like why are you getting a, are you trying to get an in the, uh, are you trying to get a servant in the veil of a housewife that is this is this is bit <laughs> this is just abuse if you think about it this is how this is how filipinas are are constantly getting abused if they go to foreign countries like in the middle east where you know filipinas go to the middle east because they want 
a better life. They want a better life for people at home. And what they, what 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 in turns happen to them? They get abused. They get things that rhymes with grapes. You know what I mean? They they get thrown in, they get they get stuck and thrown into a freezer for seven days until the authorities find out. They get abused. They they get beaten. You know what I mean? And then you have these people coming into third world countries. Why? Why? If you can afford the cleaning service, then just do it. It's not like you're gonna be coming here in the Philippines to be a prince charming and save womankind here. I mean, if, if, hey, if that's your intention, saving one person from the depths of corruption, from the depths of pro- poverty, then yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, prince charming. And while you're at it too, then save me too, man. But hey, but hey, hey, if you're gonna come here to look for a servant and to transport and held hostage in your land there in America or like in, in other first world country i don't think that's a proper decision mate because you don't probably deserve that relationship in the beginning because that other person that you're gonna get is also a human too and not an indentured servant like what the hell kid growing up i mean my my four pain in the butts in life are cleaning the house grocery shopping cooking laundry if i married i would expect uh she takes care of this you know i don't want to what the fuck now that said I mean, in terms of what okay. you want. Let me put that into perspective, okay? <laughs> I had a co-worker about Oh my ago. god, this is some... Is this is this some Andrew Tate kind of shit? Boldness. So, about three years after I asked this question, okay? So, I hadn't seen her in a long time. I'm in a bar in Seoul, and I see her walking by with her boyfriend. They're getting married, and the guy's bald, okay? So, I went out, I greeted them anyway, I met them. So, I messaged her later, I said, I remember you said you don't like bald guys. She said, yeah, but... I mean, everything else about him is great. So I make this statement about what I prefer in a girl, but the reality is I might fall in love with a a, a nurse who works seven days a week. And then, for example, you might meet me in the future and say, hey, you made a vid a while ago. You said you prefer a jobless poor babe who does all the housework. And I say, yeah, but, you know, I fell in love with this girl. What can I do? I mean, I know a guy, he was single, and he, he would not date a girl who had a kid, okay? He ended up marrying a single mom. So life is not so black and white like we think. We have our preferences, but they change. So that said, let's get to the point here, okay? Time to answer the goddamn question here. So to this guy, okay? To this guy, this okay. mysterious guy who's looking for a long-term wife here, okay? Now, I'm going to assume you want a babe who's not going to nag you. Some guys, they want a girl uh, who's got a good sense of humor. Uh, another guy wants a girl You, you who's just basically want kind of someone to, to, Myself, to, I just want a girl who's gonna sort of. So, so this 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 person, okay, in 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 our perspective, since I'm also a Filipino, I'm gonna I'm gonna call this person a foreigner. So this person, this foreigner, just wants to pick up a a Filipina, a, a kababayan, to to basically do all the grunt work at home, suck his <laughs> probably too while at it, and just become an indentured servant, okay. Let's proceed. If if you want to find a, a person like that, then you're not going to find it here. You're not going to find it here. Because, you know, that you know what's a better place to find that? In jail, man, because that's a place where you belong. Holy shit, man. It's like these people never had parents or never had, you know, they never had a mom or never had a sister. They never learned how to respect and love women. Holy shit, man. Take care of the house. Now, your obvious answer is this some from, Sigma you know, male Andrew Tate bullshit? Be like, oh, you don't want a wife, you want a nanny. No, I want a wife. I mean, that's how things used to be. Anyway, the answer to this guy is like okay. this. Okay, let's get down to business here, people. Go as far outside the city as possible. Post a job near a busy area, you know, on a window, on a sorry, sorry store, you know, wherever, wherever you post this <laughs> sorry, job. Sorry, sorry store. Wanted. <laughs> message me at this number or at this Facebook. Girls will message you and you ask them for a pick. The pick is basically their resume because there's nothing really to the job. Can you cook adobo? Yes. Can you sweep what? the floor? Yes. Anybody so can go, sweep the floor. Anybody go, can cook you adobo. Girl, you go, you meet her. You know, make sure she looks like her actual pick, whatever. You know, make sure kind of girl you can get along with. So you go meet her, you bring her back to your place, and you start sweeping together. And we can sweep together, sleep together. You want me to sleep with you? I don't want to sweep alone. Is this is this some some kind of prostitution ring? Look, so this is illegal, got a man. Young, what the fuck? Pretty babe. Assuming that's what you're into. Okay? She's poor. She's willing to work. She's not afraid of a foreigner. She's not going to argue with you about whatever drinking or whatever. After she's in your house, let nature take its course. You got good wife material on your hands. 
The interesting thing about this question is, I mean, you could ask a hundred guys and get a hundred different answers. But I mean, I think the answer the guy in the live chat really wanted was, and I'm sorry, I, 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 I forgot who did ask the question, but I think the real answer he wanted was more of a, like a city, an actual city in the Philippines of where to go or okay. an actual location. So, I mean, if it's me, if I'm, if I'm going to give you sort of man-to-man -man advice, I would say go to Leyte. Go to Samar. Leyte, Samar. Because these are far these flung. This are, are that, that's why there's recruiters there recruiting girls to go. These to are far. These are like Angeles far areas. Simple, innocent girls who just want to send money home to their family. Now they turn, you know, corrupted. Oh my God! This Angeles is predatory, girl. man. But the girls there are good. They are going to treat you well. They're going to do the cooking and cleaning, you know. You're going to take care of the money. She's going to take care of the house. And as far as I'm concerned, in my own opinion, that really is the best kind of relationship. You know, the husband is the strong, silent type. The woman sort of takes care of the family. Those are really the families that, I mean, in my experience, that I've seen with, you know, my aunt and uncle. And uh, it's it's kind of like okay. that. And okay. Just everything He's talking about the, 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 the typical um, family with, dynamic, opinion, okay? Which is, which is, okay, fine. Wife, Technically, girl, that's traditionalism, but that's fine. You want girls who are just very humble because that's how they were raised. And uh, I hope that does answer the question. If okay, okay. Here's the thing though, okay. So this guy is basically reasoning that he, okay, this per, this foreigner, okay, wants to go to the Philippines, pick up a wife that will suck dick, do the house chores and whatever, okay, and take care of the house, essentially. He's just basically getting an indentured servant in TLDR, right? And he's probably they are looking for a way to go to Leyte or somewhere these far areas because that's the best place to get the, these type of women. Now, do you know what we call that? That is predatory behavior, you know? <laughs> but here's the thing. They're capitalizing on the Filipinos who are, who are in the poorer side of things because, you know, these Filipinos really care about their family. They love their families and will try to get um, try to earn as much and try to send it back to their family so that they can live away from the slums, which is admirable. But here's the thing, okay? Holy hell, man! If you came to the Philippines to get uh, to find a wife to be your indentured servant then wow dude wow please don't just go to jail man and go do your dating sites because you're not gonna find them here majority of women nowadays i'm speaking here in the philippines majority of women in the philippines do not want to be housewives they want to go out there they want to work they want to grind they want to get that dough so that they could support their families they don't want to be just stay at home moms taking making my producing babies like a factory and cleaning the house they don't want that they want freedom. They want independence. They want to accomplish something in their lives. And if you just came here to the Philippines to look for that, then I swear to fucking God, you better go somewhere else because you're not getting that. Especially with how literate and how educated the younger generations are. You're not going to find it here. But again, the best place to find that place, the best place to find those kind of girls is in jail. Because that's where you belong, dumbass. Next video, boys. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on, boys. Next video.